This is a Kindling Kids podcast. Hello, little explorer. Did you go on an adventure today? Did you explore anything new? Being a little explorer means we're always learning and exploring the world around us. And helping our friends, the animals and the planet. And tonight, before you go to sleep, someone special needs your help. Someone very special that lived a long, long time ago. Are you ready? First, we have to prepare for our journey by slowing down our breath. If you don't already know, our breath is very powerful. By slowing our breath, We are telling our bodies and brains that it's okay to relax. And when we relax, we recharge our batteries, just like a phone, which helps us be even stronger little explorers. So let's do that now. Start by taking a big, deep breath in through your nose, counting to three. One, two, three, and then breathe out. One, two, three. Well done. Let's try that again. Breathe in. One, two, three. Breathe out. One, two, three. Great job. Now that you are calm and relaxed, little explorer, Let's go exploring. Let's start by grabbing the string of a big floating balloon. Can you feel the balloon pull you up? Up? Up into the sky? You're floating through the air. Light as a cloud. Travelling back in time, all the way back to the time of the dinosaurs. And down the balloon goes now, landing softly on the grass. And as we land, someone is waiting for us. Who are we going to meet tonight? Oh, it's our very special friend, Stegosaurus. Do you remember what a Stegosaurus looks like, little explorer? It looks like a big lizard as big as a bus, actually, with a row of spiky triangle horns all the way down its back. It may look big and frightening, but actually, Stegosauruses were plant eaters, and perhaps even a little slow and quiet. Let's find out what our friend needs today. How are you, Stegosaurus? Oh no. 
Stegosaurus says he's really sad because all the other dinosaurs love to read and write and count, but he's finding it really hard. He tries to keep up, but he feels he's not as good as the others. Hmm, what do you think, little explorer? I wonder if there's something else our buddy Stegosaurus is really good at. Something that makes him happy. Something that he can do really well and makes him feel special and good about himself. You may not be the best at writing and counting Stegosaurus, buddy, but everyone has their own unique super skills. What do you love doing? What's that? You're a good listener you're helpful to others and you love to dance? Well, there you go. Okay then, buddy. How about you show us some dinosaur dance moves? Wow. Have you ever seen a dinosaur dance, little explorer? That is special. Remember, everyone is different. Some of us are great at some things. Others are great at other things. We just have to find out what we love to do and then do it with passion. Off goes Stegosaurus, dancing into the trees with his friends. Bye, buddy. Thanks for your help, little explorer. Looks like it's time to head back home. Are you ready? Grab hold of your big balloon and feel yourself rising up and up into the sky, floating up into the clouds and forward through time, landing gently and safely in your cosy bedroom. Back in your bed, ready for sleep. What a great adventure, little explorer. Sweet dreams. And wake up in the morning healthy and happy and ready to explore the world again tomorrow. Good night, little one. Thank you.